all of my Amazon bunny favorites. It is a need, not a want. It's something I actually don't own, but it's been sitting in my Amazon cart for a while. It's a good one, a big fan. Hello buns, welcome back to Cinnabon Sundays, a weekly video series where we talk about all things bunny. I'm Morgan, I'm Cinnabon's bun mom, and today I'm going to be sharing all of my Amazon bunny favorites. Now it's been a while since I've done an Amazon bunny favorites video. I think the last one I did was like at the beginning of 2021 maybe, so it's been like over a year. I feel like I'm constantly sharing bunny products with y'all, but I figured since Prime Day is literally right around the corner, it would be a great time for me to round up all of my Amazon bunny favorites and just put them in a video here. And if you're watching this video when it comes out, hopefully there's a couple of deals that you can swipe up for for Prime Day so that you can save yourself some coin when you're spoiling your bunny and getting all new goodies for them. Before I dive in, if this is your first time seeing my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We post videos every single Sunday that are about all things bunny, and then I also post vlogs every Wednesday that kind of give a bigger look at what's going on in my life and Cinnabon's life, just all of the things. So we get two videos a week, Definitely wanna subscribe and join the little bun fam. We would love to have you. All right, I have a ton of stuff here to talk about, so let's just get into this video. So this first section, this is the home section. This is like kind of home decor, just things that are like in your home specifically for your bunny. One of my number one recommendations for having a rabbit is having a litter box cover for your litter box. That has been the biggest way for me to keep my house from smelling like hay, smelling like bunny poop and bunny pee, and also keeping anything contained that might fall out of the litter box. I've shared mine a lot, it's this gorgeous black cover, but there's actually a couple of covers on Amazon that I don't have, but I've seen that I wanna share as well. One that I really like is this one that literally looks like a planter. It's a cat litter box, but it looks like a plant, but there's a hole cut into it that you can put your litter box in. So I think that is an awesome idea for a litter box cover as well. Another cover option is the one I had in my apartment before this house. I had just this like bamboo hamper that I like took the hamper part out of and put Cinnabon's litter box in. I ended up using like a saw just, just to cut the edge out, but it worked out great. It would not be a products video if I didn't talk about my holy grail item, which is my Lavoie air purifier. This will probably be on sale on Prime Day as well. They go on sale quite a lot. It is just the greatest thing ever. I won't talk too much about it because I talk about it in every video, but just know that if you have a bunny, you need an air purifier. It keeps your space clean and it keeps your air smelling nice. So you're not gonna smell hay, fur, dust. It is a need, not a want. Next up is my Pura device. Bunnies have very sensitive respiratory systems and while I still definitely do burn candles and use a diffuser with Cinnabon, I'm wary of how often I use it just because I don't want to bother her. The Pura device is like a Bluetooth air diffuser. So you have these little pods that you put in and then from your phone, you can control how strong the smell is, if it's weak or not, and how often it's going on. And every single one of these capsules is pet safe. So it's something that you can feel good about having in your home. You can have your home smelling nice all the time, but know that you're not poisoning your bunny's lungs. Next up are pet cameras. I definitely think that if you have a rabbit, you should have a pet camera. I really push for free roaming your rabbit on this channel, which means that your rabbit doesn't live in a cage. But with your rabbit roaming around, whether it's just in one room or your entire house, they can get into stuff. So having a pet camera is really useful. I'm linking my absolute favorite cameras below. They're the SwitchBot cameras and they have motion detection on them. So that way you can see whenever your bunny hops into frame. I really think that it's a definite need in your home. So this next thing is something I actually don't own, but it's been sitting in my Amazon cart for a while. So maybe I'll buy it on Prime Day. It's these like wicker hides that are actually cat beds, but they're so pretty. Because rabbits are prey animals, they need a lot of hides around that they can climb into and hide away in. But on Amazon, I've seen these really pretty like woven ones that are just so cute, very bohemian, very chic. And I just know that Cinnabon would absolutely love something like this. She might even chew on it a little bit, but it's an extra bonus toy for her as long as you get one that's untreated. But I think that that is such a cool way to upgrade your rabbit space. So the next couple are a little bit of a higher price point, but because there's like a big sale coming up, it might be the time to look into investing. The first one is a Roomba. I run my Roomba every single day. Now I wouldn't use my Roomba to like clean up all the hay and clean up specific messes, but just having a rabbit, they shed like crazy. So you are finding hair 
everywhere in your home. So running your Roomba every day, you don't have to think about cleaning, you don't have to think about vacuuming, but it's just picking up all of that leftover just fluff that they leave behind. But for specific messes, I swear by my Dyson vacuum. It is a high price point, but you might be able to find one on sale on Prime Day or even find an older model that's discounted, but this is the best freaking vacuum. Oh my goodness, it sucks up all of the hay instantly. I use this every single morning, sometimes twice a day. It cleans up every single specific bunny mess that I need to clean. It is one of the best things I own, so I have to talk about the Dyson. I have the Dyson V7, and I think they're up to like the V12 now, so the one I have is definitely more discounted than the current version, and it works great. Just make sure if you get a Dyson vacuum, you get the animal version, because that's more compatible with like hair and hay and all that. Another Dyson product that I actually don't own, but I am definitely going to be investing in very soon is the Dyson heating and cooling air purifier. Now, you know, I am a Lavoit stan. Like I said, the Lavoit air purifier is like my holy grail, but this is like an air purifier, but it also heats and cools your space. Rabbits have a really difficult time regulating their temperature. So even though your home most likely is temperature controlled, it's still really nice to have like a heater or a cooler for those really, really cold days or those really, really hot days. And because it's also an air purifier, it cleans the air as it heats and cools the space. But if you're not wanting to spend all of that money on a Dyson, what I do right now, at least for when it's cold, I have these heating pads that I got off of Amazon. It even has a protected cord because they're specific for pets and I place these where Cinnabon regularly sleeps and then for when it's really hot outside I have a standing fan that I will put in the room with her and then if she gets really hot she can sit by it and it blows on her fur so there's definitely cheaper options that you can do to regulate your rabbit's temperature but again I love to take advantage of a sale so if you've had your eye on the Dyson purifier like I have this is the one that I really want and maybe now is the time to go for it okay so the next section I want to talk about is bunny proofing now I just put out a video all about bunny proofing tips a few weeks ago so make sure to click on that video to really know how to bunny proof but I get all of my bunny proofing items off of Amazon for baseboards and edges I use these bumpers that are just these clear bumpers that you can attach to any sharp edge and that keeps Cinnabon from chewing on them for blocking her from areas I use NIC grids they are just the absolute best I have a matte lazé blanket that's usually used for a bed that I use to cover my sofa and then I get all of my cords protected by buying cord protectors on Amazon so every single one of the things I use to bunny proof I get those off of Amazon. Next up, I want to talk about storage. There are so many like containers and storage options on Amazon. First off, I got this. I actually attached the food label. It's just a sticker, but this is what I keep her pellets in and it keeps her pellets so fresh instead of having to use like a Ziploc bag that pellets typically come in. This is the best thing ever for pellets. It keeps them so fresh and it holds an entire bag of pellets. I also have these jars that I keep her forage and treats in. They come in like a pack of four, I believe, and it's like four different sizes. So this is great. I love these. They're glass with these pretty bamboo tops. They're very pretty. They're nice to have out on your counter, but they seal and keep everything nice and fresh. And then on top of those containers, I also am just a stickler for a good old mason jar. You can get a pack of mason jars on Amazon. You can get like a pack of 12 of them and it's awesome. I put literally everything that Cinnabon needs in mason jars as well. So pretty much any treat, forage, food, anything I'm getting, I'm taking them out of their plastic containers and putting them into glass jars and I get all of those jars off of Amazon. So now we'll move just into like daily life. Cinnabon's things that I use with her pretty much every single day. Number one, litter box supplies. I have biodegradable pee pads that I use that I get off of Amazon in bulk and then I also get her litter from there as well. I use the Care Fresh paper bedding and I just get that on Amazon and it gets delivered like once a month. I also have a hay bag for Cinnabon and I love it. I have the large size so it has four different holes that she can stick her head into and I like that size because it actually holds the adequate amount. I used to just put her hay into her litter box but I was just finding that she was peeing on it. It was getting everywhere so investing in literally a $10 hay bag has changed my life. Speaking of her hay bag, I actually get her hay off of Amazon. I get the Oxbow Mixed Hay, so Orchard Grass and Timothy. Cinnabon loves that hay. It's consistently good, and she likes that there's like the crunch from the Timothy, but also the sweeter from the orchard. I also get her pellets off of Amazon. I recently switched over to the Sherwood Health pellets and I love them. Another item that I'm consistently using is our Fur Buster comb. This is the best brush for a rabbit. It has this rubber that goes across it that picks up the fur. Once you use the Fur Buster comb, you won't use another comb. This is the best thing for brushing your rabbit. It's not painful for her. It's not like yanking at hairs. It's nice and soft on her. It's a little more expensive, but I promise you this is the only brush 
you're ever gonna need. Another fave of mine is our Mr. Peanuts carrier. I've had this carrier for like over a year and it is just so great. It is the perfect travel carrier. It's the perfect size for Cinnabon and there's a lot of different windows that you can open up so they can stick their little heads out. I find this carrier to be just one of the most durable carriers and it's great for taking Cinnabon to the vet but also on longer car rides. And then speaking of travel, one of my travel essentials with Cinnabon is this little dish. It's like a, what is it? What is this? a collapsible dish tub. This is what I use for her litter box because it's flat, it travels nicely, but you can pop it open and then it's a walk-in litter box. It's a little small, but when you're traveling, you don't want anything to take up too much room. So I have this one. This one is 9.25 quarts and it is just the best thing ever. So I always have this whenever I travel with Cinnabon, this is her litter box. You can also get rabbit treats on Amazon. Now on Amazon, there are so many different treats that you may be wondering like which ones are good for bunnies, which ones aren't. I'll share the ones that are like Cinnabon approved. My tried and true, they don't have like gross ingredients in them. They're not necessarily healthy because they're treats, but they're not not bad for her. Number one, the Selective Naturals Garden Stick. If you know, you know this is Cinnabon's favorite treat. She has a half of one every single night. Selective Naturals is one of our favorite treat brands, actually. We love getting treats from there. They also have these meadow loops that we really like. Really any of their loops are great. So Selective Naturals, it's a good one, a big fan. I also really like the Oxbow treats. There's a ton of different ones that are usually like a fruit and an herb, a fruit and a veggie, something like that. I'll list a couple in my description that Cinnabon absolutely goes bananas over. And then the last thing in our like daily use category are toys. You can get some really good bunny toys on Amazon. And again, same with treats. There's almost like too many options. So my absolute favorite things are the little like husk balls that you can get. You can see Cinnabon has absolutely destroyed hers because she loves it so much. You can get like a pack of three balls in there, the best. This one is Cinnabon's absolute favorite. And then my last favorite toy is actually not a toy at all. Y'all know it's our palm leaf bowls. These are awesome. They're bunny safe. You just make sure you get ones that are untreated. Cinnabon goes bananas over these. I put one in front of her and she is just because this is a consumable treat. Again, she's like eating the whole thing. I don't give her one every single day, but really whenever I notice that she's being extra chewy, I'll put one of these in front of her and it solves the problem. So the last section I wanna talk about is first aid. You can get a lot of bunny first aid items on Amazon. The very first one I wanna talk about is critical care. Every single bunny owner should have critical care on hand. Critical care is a supplement that you mix with water. So anytime your rabbit is not eating and you need to give them nutrients, you can syringe feed them critical care and that will help stimulate their gut. You never want your bunny to go into stasis or be hurt or refusing food and you not have critical care on hand. So I recommend that you always, always, always have that in your fridge ready to go. It's the last thing you want to worry about when there's an emergency. Next up are our digestive biscuits from Oxbow. Y'all have heard me talk about these a ton. I give Cinnabon one of these every single day. It's kind of like a multivitamin for bunnies and it's specifically for digestive aid. But what I've recently been getting into are their other biscuits. So right here I have a joint support one. This is really good for like older rabbits, especially who their joints are getting a little old. This is really great for that. And then I also recently just got a skin and coat one, which I am really liking this one. I feel like this is gonna be really useful during molting season just to keep her skin and fur nice and healthy even when she's shedding a lot. So I give Cinnabon a biscuit once a day, but if you wanna try out some of these other ones, I would suggest alternating, so not giving like three biscuits in a day. But digestive is our go-to. But what I think I might start doing is a digestive biscuit one day and then the next day like the skin and hair and then going back to digestive again. And then the next digestive aid I wanna talk about is Benevac Plus. This was a recommendation from my vet Cinnabon has a pretty sensitive tummy, so this is a probiotic. I only have to give her a tiny bit of this once a week. Yeah, I think I give her like one gram once a week and I just put that on top of one of her digestive biscuits and feed it to her. It's a probiotic. It's just helping build up her gut strength, build up her tummy and build up her GI tract. This is something that I've been trying out for a couple months now and at first she really did not like the taste of it, but I started putting it onto her digestive biscuit and she was like, oh, that's pretty good. I'm a really big fan. This was a recommendation from my vet and I think this is a good thing to have in your first aid kit. Another first aid item, which I think is an essential for your first aid kit is infant gas drops. If you guys have been watching our channel, you've heard me talk about these. This is just a really great first line of defense if you ever see your rabbit starting to go into stasis. When your rabbit is in stasis, gas bubbles start to form in their stomach, blocking their GI tract. So these gas drops can really help ease the pain of that gas and like lower the pressure there. And then my last thing to talk about are syringes 
syringes, you can get so many syringes off of Amazon. I use syringes for critical care. I use it for all of her medication. I use it for water. You can really never have too many syringes. And any time that your rabbit is just not feeling well, you're going to have to assisted feed in some way. So having those on hand, similar to critical care, you don't wanna worry about not having a syringe in a situation where you need a syringe. I have a ton of one milliliter syringes. This is a three milliliter syringe. And then I also have five milliliter syringes. So different types of syringes for different types of things that you're gonna feed to your rabbit. But it's really important to have these on hand. That is it for my Amazon bunny favorites. I hope this was useful and I hope you enjoyed Enjoyed. Comment down below if there's anything in this video that piqued your interest that you might be checking out and happy shopping. I hope that maybe you can find some discounts on Prime Day. And while this is an Amazon video, I want to just say here that we are huge proponents of shopping local and shopping small. So if you have small local pet shops in your area, I definitely recommend like looking at this video, seeing the items and maybe going there first and checking to see if maybe they have something. But again, Amazon can be really useful for when you're in a pinch or just doing a bulk order and having everything that you need. So again, I hope this was useful. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in our next one. Bye, buns.